What is up fellow YouTubers, SubduGecko30 here, and I am back playing Minecraft Story Mode, guys. See, in the last episode, we started to get, get like, people in to interrogate them to see who the killer might be. And so far, all the evidence is pointing to Stampy Cat. So let's do this, guys, and let's see what happens, shall we? Take a seat, Stampy. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others, at any rate. Mm -hmm. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend. Hmm. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? What? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Huh. Uh, Please, right. just tell me what you want to know. Mm-hmm. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? <laughs> no, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> what do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded. Really? That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What, uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. God, Fine. stamp in the lie. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, really? so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. Mm-hmm. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room is making me very nervous. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on! This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. <sighs> I know Lucas wouldn't do it. Hey, Jesse. He just I got here too. I'm a suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Yeah. I'm going to tell everyone at once. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. <laughs> Come on, suspect. <laughs> Alright. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yet, where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence enough to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure, and I'm not. Wow. 
Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. All right, then. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for, exactly? Buttons, <laughs> like, back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? We just need more evidence. Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Hmm. Huh. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when it got sucked away. And Sparkle stuff, for that matter. There's that tipped arrow trap again. Poor Torque Dog. Let's just stay away from that spot. And those ovens have been going running for a while, huh? The ovens have been busy since we got here. Who needs that much food? Hmm. Painting of a creeper. This seems suspicious. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Oh yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh, well, well. It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Hmm. Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. <laughs> yeah, they're like, back away. One of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. But... Like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. He's gotta, gotta have like so many secret and so passages. We're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. Hmm. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? Sort of. <laughs> what do you think that is? Maybe. See anything that this lever might be connected to? Huh. What do you see? It's the it's library. The library. Locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. 
We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, oh, boy. It was an accident. I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing the white pumpkin? Oh, come on. Nothing like this ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. All right, then. Let's get the white pumpkin. What on earth? Oh, come on! What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders! They're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Let's take care of these spiders. I want to let me. I want to let me choose. Whoa. watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could, I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Or I could go and apologize to every single person. I could, um, I could just stay locked up in this library. Then would people trust me? Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <laughs> Whoa! Where's he go? Enjoying the party? <laughs> YouTubers. Get out of our 
way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this man. We're not even from this world! Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie has gone too. We're not even from this world, though. I'd say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. <laughs> Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. <laughs> yeah. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly just... Yes, that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's not happening unless one of us goes along too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Well, at least Ivor is it. At least Come Ivor. On, Cassie. At least I trust Ivor watching over. Don't over. go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. <laughs> Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. <laughs> okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like... Some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Somehow, the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Hmm. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the White Pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Yeah. I, I was sitting in a corner humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Sounds like Stampy. Okay. I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Yeah. Didn't think he had it in him. Yeah, that guy can still surprise me sometimes. Agreed. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Yeah, after what happened I vote before. we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Let's talk to Stacy. <clears throat> What do you want? You've been pretty aggro accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? I, I'm serious, Making we're not even from... I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. I'm not kidding. Why would they accuse them? They're not even from this world. How would they even have the time to even, like, set up everything? Except this one. <gasps> Whoa, another secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I 
wonder what order these need to be in. Hmm. That's, that's, that's something, so let's try putting it there. No. Uh, but let's try putting that there. Okay. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. And now let's put that there. Be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you in your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. What can you expect what? from YouTubers? Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ah! The Ender Pearls. It's just, I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Petra, don't worry. We're going to stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. Can't blame you, Petra. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily, those should do just the trick. I guess those will work, too. You can make ladders. Whoa, she made so many. You thinking ladder? Oh, yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I uh, forgot how to make ladders. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> Done. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we've got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. guys um i'm gonna stop it here for now that'll be all for this time if y'all enjoyed this episode please leave a like and comment and please subscribe and i hope to see you on the next episode guys see y'all later bye bye guys